Hello fellow Eurovision fans, I'm Heidi from ESN Norway and today we are joined by wonderful Elena from Cyprus. She's going to represent her country this year with the song El Diablo. Welcome to Norway, Elena. Hi Norway, nice to meet you. <laughs> so nice to have you here. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Sure. Uh, first of all, we would like to get to know you better. Who is Elena and uh, also when and how did your music career start? Yes, um, I started my music career in the high, high music school in Greece. There I, I learned a lot of instruments. Uh, I have a lot of bands like uh, a band with uh, jazz music, a band with uh, more uh, traditional instruments in Greece. Uh, I had my vocal practice there. I was uh, co completely in the music situation and maybe it's the reason that my career goes on. That's nice to hear. Uh, Cyprus didn't have a, na a national national selection this year. You were chosen internally. Uh, can you tell us about the process and how did you get to know that you were the one that were picked? Yeah, sure. Um, Cyprus chose me for uh, this competition this year and I'm very proud about it. Uh, I have a great team. They give me a great song. I, I think it's something that that it's very necessary for the Eurovision Song Contest. The artist has, has to be completely real and take a song that it connects uh, perfectly together with uh, him or her. And that's uh, what I have in my hands. I think El Diablo is a song that uh, I will have fun when I will sing in it in Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah, they, they uh, the Cypress said, to my label, this song, and I take it, and I'm very proud that I have it. How did it feel to be chosen? I feel very, very proud. I think it's the right year for me. Um, okay, we all know about the problem with the COVID, but I think we we have to feel the positivity of the Eurovision Song Contest artists and uh, and the fans and the Euro fans and every people that will watch the show. Yes. Uh, what was your immediate reaction the first time you heard the demo of El Diablo? <laughs> when I heard the demo of El Diablo, I was still completely ready to cry. Because <laughs> I hear I hear that that song has something very emotional for me. And it gives me the power and the psycho mode uh, together to make it perfect uh, in the process of uh, rehearsals and that stuff. And I'm very proud that I have a great choreographer with me, Shelly Jenning. She's uh, one of the best for me. And she worked a lot all these months for me and with me. A lot of work. <laughs> uh, but I think it's going to be great. Uh, the song has had some mixed reactions among the more conservative listeners. Some even says it's a religious uh, message or even devil worshipping. This even med made the headlines here in Norway. Uh, what are your thoughts on their reactions? Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, it's never about the religion or the political stuff. Uh, it's about the situation with a man who... who can destroy us or a situation that uh, could destroy us, like like um, a work situation. For uh, every for every person that I, that hear my song, it's completely different the feeling. Um, so I'm I'm ready to to take uh, any any uh, how can I say. Um, any position of my song in any way because everyone has a different experience in life. Yes. Uh, the, and the music video seems to have a really strong message. Can you tell us the idea behind the visual story you're telling in the video? 
of course, uh, uh, El Diablo is about um, the story of someone who kill, kill us emotionally and make us feel weak. So I take all of this weak, weakness in the end, I take this and take it off and live free. And it's about the freedom of our souls in a bad relationship or a situation. Okay. Uh, will you bring some elements from the music video to your staging in Rotterdam? Um, uh, I suppose some things, but it's going to be completely different because we want to have uh, um, uh, the visual. Uh, Marvin Vietnam is the director of the, of the stage performance and uh, he connected with me exactly at the right uh, things, I, I think. And I hear in your songs, uh, Fallen Angel. Yes, <laughs> and you, you performed your El Diablo right before the Norwegian song Fallen Angel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We are together. Like, <laughs> so nice. <laughs> First El Diablo and then the angel is falling. <laughs> yes, why not? Uh -huh. I so love it's your very nice. Good luck. Yes. Yeah, sure. Uh, when you get to Rotterdam, how will you spend your free time and uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Yeah, uh, if, if we have a free time, uh, I'm definitely uh, going to have a walk in the place and have some fresh air and drink a fresh juice, uh, uh, something very nutrition because I need energy and power. To be on stage it's a it's a hard performance i guess <laughs> and uh, how does it feel to follow in the footsteps of the uh, fury and sassy queens as eleni and tanta eleni and tanta are a very close friend of me Ooh. yeah uh we're uh with eleni we're in the same label i think she's uh, the person that inspires us to do uh, the pop culture in Greece as good as we can because she's professional and she knows what to do. So I take all the good vibe of her and keep it with me like, like this and go straight away to the stage of Rotterdam. I think you will have so much fun on the stage because the song is so uplifting. So it, the the story behind it is not uplifting, but the rhythm is very it, exactly. You, exactly. It's, it's easy to dance to. Yes, yeah, sure. We want to have fun and dance the song because um, in the middle it said about the party and it said about the spicy uh, tataco somalis that we're gonna. <laughs> Or I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you, me, I'm gonna sing it. So yes, I I, I could eat uh, the taco somalis after you know, yes. know. <laughs> Please do not do it while you're singing. That will be a mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. I tried to, to be completely fit in uh, those days. Ah, oh, so difficult. <laughs> you can. <Ooh>. Smell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there are so many unique and talented artists in this year's lineup. If you could collaborate with some of them in the future, who would you pick and why? Mm -hmm. It could be definitely with um, Victoria from Bulgaria. Oh. Uh, yeah, she has a nice song. I love uh, I love her because uh, she's a so real. Her song is like she and uh, we can't forget an artist that gives the natural uh, feeling of uh, who he, he is, who he is exactly. So I like, I like uh, Victoria from Bulgaria very much. Okay, that would be a nice collaboration. It would be nice to hear you two together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you please tell us a fun fact about yourself? A fun fact, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm I'm the girl that when you when you told me to remember names, it's difficult. I I forgot every time the names of the people, and when I see your face, I can't forget it. So I try to forget. 
I try to remember the the, the names uh, of uh, of the people because it's you know it's it makes me crazy not to remember the names and to remember the faces so much. It's getting me crazy. Yes, that is something. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, when you go into Rotterdam, you do you hope to meet some of the other artists because of the COVID situation? I guess you will be contained in the hotel, but you might meet some of them. I really want to meet the other artists. That's very important for me. Uh, I know the situation is difficult, but I think we're gonna we're gonna meet. Uh, then I just want to wish you good luck in uh, Rotterdam and uh, hope that you will have lots of fun. You um, too. I would like you to, can you please send a message to the Norwegian viewers maybe? Of course, of course. I'm going to send it all my good vibes on you guys to have fun and celebrate your business song contest like us and good luck to Norway. Thank you for your time and good luck in Rotterdam. Thank yeah. you for speaking with Thank us. You. Goodbye, Elena. Bye bye.